welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we can support our leader Mazen and the Kano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream and restoration a reality. Ise. The Volanin Sultan of Sokoto, Blas Buhari Impostor, that his top owners is now making Nigerians to carry weapons to church and defend themselves against the Fulani terrorists invading their church. And according to report, the Fulani Sultan said that this action would delay or stop the Fulani Jihadist conquest. According to the Sultan, who were he said that if Buhari had listened to them, this would not have happened. They wanted the process to take slow, but Buhari wants to achieve it during his own tenure. And that is why there is a lot of mistake according to the Fulani Sultan. Buhari Posto and the Fulani Caliphate are now in a serious trouble because the deception called One Nigeria has been exposed as Fulani politicians and Caliphate pushes for Muslim Muslim tickets, which they intend to use to deceive Tunubu. You know, their evil plan is to use Bola Tunubu, and if he succeed, he will be eliminated by the Fulani Janjaweed, as they did to his fellow Southwest politician, MKO Abiola, in 1993, who is also a Yoruba Muslim like Bola Tunubu. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed does not see Yoruba Muslims as practicing true Islam. They don't see them as that. And the Fulani Janjaweed hates the Yoruba Muslim more than the Christian. So sometimes when I see the way the Yoruba Muslim are talking, I just laugh at them. They don't know that the Fulani Janjaweed hates them more than even the Christians. They see them as infidels. Yet, they are supporting the Fulani terrorists to commit atrocities in Biafra land. You know, after succeeding in Kaduna State with their Muslim Muslim tickets, the Fulani terrorist governor, Nasru Erufai, handed over Kaduna State to his Fulani terrorist brothers. You know, and pushed for the extermination of the Southern Kaduna Christian community so that they will be replaced by the foreign Fulani terrorists and their families. Southern Kaduna Christians have the largest population in Kaduna State, which is about 70%. Why the Fulani Janjaweed is just a mere 10%. But the Fulani Janjaweed uses terrorism and corruption to lord it over the majority Kaduna indigenous tribe, that is the Christian Southern Kaduna indigenous. This evil occupation of ancestral land by Fulani terrorists is what the Buhari impostor planned for Biafra. He thought hopeless Uzodinjo and Devu Mehi will help him. But Mazen Namdekano 
IPOB and Eastern Security Network rose up against the Fulani jihadist conquest and stopped them and drove them out of Biafra land. They drove them out from the forests and bushes because that's where they operate from. You know, despite all the help the Fulani Janjaweed received from hopeless who's out in they still failed. Now they are hiding them in barracks. You know, due to the lawlessness and atrocities going on in Nigeria by the Fulani Janjaweed, who are on a forceful takeover of Nigeria, revolution is now inevitable and fast approaching. And the chance or the cause and effect will be the 2023 elections. The good news is that IPOB, Eastern Security Network, and Bia France are already battle ready with the ongoing war in Biafra land. Biafra must be liberated and restored. Our people, the Biafrans, must be free from Fulani oppression and domination. We must be free. You know, the one Nigerian unity beggars are now lamenting. They are the ones lamenting the most. As they have now seen that Mazin Amdekanu was right all this while. When he told all of them that they were only being deceived, by their full and slave masters, and they will be betrayed, and all this came to pass. You know, the full and Nigerian government claims to be fighting corruption, but its officials are corrupt, and this has resulted in the highest level of hardship Nigerians are facing since the inception of Nigeria in 1960, that is when Nigeria had independence. The one Nigerian unity begging so-called technocrats and political juggernauts have seen it now that the Buhari Impostors government is the most corrupt government in the history of Nigeria. Many Nigerian children are out of school. They, you know, they are out of school. There is nothing to pay to get them back to school. Nigeria is broke. Because of looting by the Fulani Janjaweed. Even first class students can't get a 30,000 naira salary job under this wicked Buhari impostors regime. Very selfish and self centered. Nigerians are being deceived by Buhari impostor. You can't be in corruption and be fighting corruption. The Fulani Nigerian government had to free a Fulani Auditor General of Nigeria who stole over 170 billion naira and nothing happened to him. And all the Fulani Nigerian government needs to get the Nigerian investors up and running is less than 80 billion naira. But they are not interested because their children are not in Nigerian university because their priority is full and need terrorism. You know, the Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn blasted the full and need Nigerian government that Nigerians can no longer or cannot be celebrating fake democracy day where Nigerians are slaves in their country, afraid to worship in the churches and mosques, afraid to travel by road or by trade, even at the airport, they are afraid. All of these politicians and gullible Nigerians supporting Muslim Muslim tickets will declare a jihad war against a Christian Christian ticket. They will do that. Nigerian lady was spotted in church with a gun, and this came after the Ondo State Catholic Church massacre. And there have been reports of a pastor who armed himself with a gun while preaching from his pulpit at his church altar. Even a popular Nollywood actress shows off loaded gun and asks her IG followers how church was. This development 
is unsettling Buhari Imposto and the Fulani Nigerian government, including the Fulani terrorists. And Buhari Imposto have secretly ordered the Fulani Army Chief and Police IGP and the Criminal DSSDG to start arresting Christians possessing guns for self-defense because it will stop and end the Fulani terrorist jihad and kidnapping business. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.